Hello, my name's Alison Salter and I'm the founder and manager of Highland Chronic Pain and Whiplash Centre. Our centre is unique in that we specialise in an osteopathic technique known as Specific Adjustment Technique. We refer to this here on in as SAT. We created this video to explain what this treatment involves, what conditions SAT can be effective for and how and why it works. I have been through a course of SAT treatment which restored my health completely from a place of chronic pain, exhaustion and severe asthma amongst many other complaints. The osteopaths at the centre have many decades of experience in SAT treatment and have been selected from various osteopathic practices around the UK and Europe. We offer a unique and comprehensive course of treatment which aims to move you on from a life of chronic pain or fatigue and many other health conditions and difficulties. So, what is SAT? Well, SAT involves a combination of osteopathic techniques. The vertebrae of the spine are adjusted in a very specific order, but generally moving from the very top all the way to the pelvis. SAT also comprises more gentle work with the muscles and ligaments throughout the whole body, as well as the more subtle, calming cranial osteopathic technique, which works primarily with the neck and sacral areas, but can have far-reaching effects throughout the whole body. SAT is delivered in a course of treatment over a period of approximately five months rather than one-off sporadic appointments. The effects of each treatment are cumulative. They affect the entire central nervous system and gradually allow the body to regain the ability to heal itself. SAT is a unique and very specialised osteopathic technique which is suitable for people who experience a wide range of health complaints. Some of the most common conditions, diagnoses and symptoms which SAT practitioners encounter and treat effectively are chronic pain, either localised or throughout the whole body, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, asthma, IBS, various anxiety states and various autoimmune disorders. For a more comprehensive description of symptoms which a cervical injury can bring about, please see the symptomology list which accompanies my story on this website. There's a link below. These problems are often treated as illnesses in their own right, commonly with painkillers or antidepressants, rather than as a resulting problem from an underlying structural injury in the spine. No connection is ever made between the two. But unless the underlying problem is addressed, the resulting effects and varied symptoms will just continue to manifest further problems throughout a person's life. So for example, at first the problems may well just be structural, a difficulty running perhaps, then a few years later a limp when walking or a tension when sitting. A few years later still, perhaps difficulties with breathing and a diagnosis of asthma. Then follows feeling exhausted for much of the time and often becoming more irritable and anxious in one's own body. SAT is applicable to you and may be effective for you if you have experienced physical trauma at some point in your life. This trauma may possibly stem right back to the point of birth itself, where prolonged undue pressure, strain or distress to the head and neck area may have occurred. Most people, of course, do not know much about their own birth, and so it's very usual for people to not ever actually remember any traumatic event with which to connect or attribute their health conditions. And so we live our lives often with many health niggles which are just put down to just getting older. But over years and decades, these often can progress into more serious conditions which are usually given labels along the way, such as fibromyalgia or IBS, for example. In this way, a person's health can gradually deteriorate over many years, quite profoundly, with one complaint giving rise to the next, each complaint being of a slightly more serious nature than the last as the years go by. Each one is often medically treated as a separate entity rather than being seen to be interconnected and as a result of a more serious underlying issue in the spine and central nervous system. So for instance, if you have a problem walking, 
then it's common for a medical professional to look at what is wrong with your foot, your knee, or perhaps your pelvis, but usually nobody looks at what's going on higher up in the body. Often problems which manifest in the lower half of the body are actually stemming from a problem up here in the spine, the part of the spine known as the cervical spine. And this is where your head joins onto your body. I'll speak more about this in a moment, but suffice to say here that osteopaths consider the whole body and how one part affects another part rather than looking at parts in isolation. Another key aspect here, the point which perhaps is not readily made in the mainstream conventional medical profession, is that the catalyst for the deterioration in a person's health may begin at birth or very early on in childhood. This is usually due to a long assisted or difficult or distressing birth in which the neck was held or forced into some unusual position. The trauma can also relate back to childhood years, the time in our life when we experience regular falls, bumps and accidents. How many children fall over on concrete, cut their knee and go crying to their parents? They appear to have escaped unscathed and so we just dust them down, kiss them better and it's forgotten about. Now, I'm not saying that every fall is going to create some catastrophic spiral into ill health for the rest of a person's life. Many falls in childhood are not severe enough to do this. But nevertheless, every major physical trauma will perhaps to some minor degree cause some torsion or compensation throughout the spine as the body tries to deal with the impact. This may only give rise to a series of common health niggles but nevertheless, it is still important to make that connection between trauma and health difficulties, which start to formulate some months or usually years later after the accident. In addition to birth itself, the trauma may also be due to such incidents as car crashes, a fall down the stairs, a fall off a bike or a horse, a clash of heads or injury whilst playing sport, a fall in the street, slip on the ice or a trip up the curb, or even just a bang to the head. The possibilities are endless nowadays as we live in such a fast-paced world which exposes all of us to physical trauma and which may result in developing emotional and anxiety states. When we fall, we have an automatic reflex to avoid hitting our face on the ground. We automatically extend the neck like this or whip the head to the side the upper cervical part of the spine allows for the turning of our head from side to side and so it is this area of the spine which can sustain significant injury. In everyday language, an injury to the cervical spine is often referred to as whiplash. In osteopathic terms, this is referred to as a positional lesion, which merely describes a movement out of the normal position of a vertebrae in the upper cervical spine here. Cervical spine whiplash style injuries are the underlying root cause of many ailments, health niggles and more serious conditions and of much chronic pain and chronic fatigue related illnesses. There are many people living their life with an upper cervical injury to their spine and are totally oblivious. I was one of these people. Sadly, for many reasons which we'll discuss in more depth on our frequently asked questions page, this connection is still largely never made, due mainly to time elapsing between the incident and the manifestation of health problems. The practitioners at our centre are dedicated to raising awareness of such injuries and the often debilitating and incurable, as they are often wrongly deemed, health conditions which can result from them. Over the years, this trauma to the very top of the spine here has a knock-on cumulative effect causing ligamentous tension between skeletal structures, nervous system and the muscular layers of the body. In turn, this muscular and nerve tension follows on to form tension around our organs and therefore begins to affect the functions of our body. As the central nervous system gradually compensates and becomes more and more tensed, tangled and pulled as it tries to cope with the force which was exerted on it due to the original trauma. Multiple health issues spaced out over many years, both on a physical, 
and psychological level begin to manifest. So for instance, in my case, I suffered from asthma from the age of eight till I was about 30 years old when I discovered SAT. I now have no asthma whatsoever. And what I discovered was that actually the asthma was manifesting as a problem in the thoracic spine here. Now, the original injury to my neck was up here in the cervical spine. But over many years, this had caused compensations in the spine to gradually knock on to the, the vertebrae that was out of position up here. So by the time we reach the, the thoracic spine here, this is affecting the nerve supply to the lungs. So if the upper cervical lesion in the spine is not addressed, over many years we can end up with a compensation pattern knocking on all the way down the spine sometimes as low as the lower thoracics or into the lumbar spine. In a similar way to how I just explained this causes asthma from the thoracic spine, down here, the nerve, if the nerve function is disrupted here, this will affect the whole abdominal region. So this can manifest most commonly as IBS, bladder problems, menstrual problems, or problems with fertility. The effects of a physical trauma or whiplash injury to the body has a much greater impact than merely in the spine itself and manifests in each human very differently according to where the weaknesses in each individual lie. So as such, there is no definitive list of conditions which SAT can help. We cannot put SAT in a box and say it helps X, Y and Z conditions. The fact that SAT cannot be put in a box and is a holistic rather than prescriptive treatment is one of the main reasons why it is not more widely recognised. As we live our lives, we endure perhaps several physical and emotional traumas, each compounding on the last. This is not unusual, it's just life itself, and our bodies do their best to compensate to allow us to continue living as well as possible. So it may all start with the long 20-hour birth process and its associated pressures on our cranium, spine and nervous system through which we entered the world. That fall on concrete when we were a toddler, during which we grazed our knee but we also whipped our face to the side as we fell to the ground. That fall off a horse in our teens, during which we ended up in hospital and we were checked over and told we were okay, i.e. no bones were broken. The divorce and separation of our parents when we were 16, the death of a relative in our 20s, and so on. For each event, we develop a tension, a certain resistance, whether that be physical or emotional. The result is the same, tension. A tension imprint, or to put it more simply, a tension holding pattern, whether that be physical, mental or emotional, is left on our central nervous system from every traumatic event. SAT addresses these layers one by one and peels them away to reveal the body's innate healing potential within, which we were born with, but for many people becomes hidden and lies dormant under many layers of successive trauma. We do not even consider at the time of their occurrence that these traumas may affect us long term. SAT has the effect of untangling years, sometimes decades, of muscular, ligamentous and nerve tension, pulls and compensations throughout the entire body. It's like untangling a very knotted up chain in your jewellery box. The treatment could also be described quite accurately as a whole body resetting. A bit like pressing the reset button on a computer or the restore factory settings option on a device. It's like wiping the memory of the central nervous system and starting afresh, as best as is possible for each individual. SAT is a very powerful and effective treatment. So why is SAT different, more specialised and effective than other osteopathic techniques? The answer is that conventional osteopathy is perfectly appropriate for any injury to the spine, but will often not address injuries sustained in the upper cervical part of the spine here. This is where SAT is particularly effective. The upper cervical spine area is incredibly complex and intricate and requires a practitioner with an exceptional level of expertise to make adjustments effectively. 
Many osteopaths are only comfortable working with the vertebrae from the lower cervical spine downwards through the thoracic and lumbar vertebrae and will not work on the upper cervical vertebrae. However, if there is still an injury in the upper cervicals at the top of the chain, then even though the injuries below have been corrected, if the top of the chain is still out of position, then all of the vertebrae below will once again over time begin to compensate to accommodate this out of position vertebrae at the top. In a domino fashion, several of the lower vertebrae will once again move out of position and lead back to the original ligamentous and muscular pulling and the resulting pain and discomfort will return again. Some osteopaths do adjust the upper cervical vertebrae, but to do this successfully, i.e. so the vertebrae do not revert back to their original position, and so the body can fully heal from the injury on all levels, emotionally, mentally, as well as physically, rather than falling back into the old patterns, the osteopath needs to fully understand the direction and the force of the impact which originally caused the injury, and then reverse that injury in just one movement. It is not effective to simply try to move the vertebrae back into position, only to move it back into position via the exact same path which it took to become out of position in the first place. This resets the central nervous system closer to what it was prior to the accident, which could be 30 years ago or more. And it is this skill which sets apart SAT practitioners. Once the original vertebrae has been restored back to its correct position, then it is wholly possible that other treatments and therapies which you may have tried in the past and have been unsuccessful in helping you recover from your pain or fatigue long term will now be hugely effective. So therapies such as sports massage, Alexander technique, acupuncture and other forms of osteopathic and chiropractic work are often very beneficial after SAT treatment. The simple key factor is to tackle problems in the correct order with SAT at the top of the list. SAT practitioners nearly always work from the top downwards because unless everything is in correct alignment in the upper spine where the head joins the body, nothing below will be functioning to its optimum either. The whole experience of SAT can, in terms of physical, mental and emotional health, be completely life-changing, liberating, calming and immensely rejuvenating when approached by the patient in the right way. We have designed an effective programme of collaborative treatment here at our centre which can move you on from a life of pain, exhaustion and more general health complaints.